what it is with y'all, man. I'm back in the building. Top Cat 100, man. You already know the one and only, man. I'm up in here. You know we got something to touch on because this one right here going to be a little serious, man. Because, you know, we see a lot of things happening, you know what I mean, in the name of Breonna Taylor. And, you know, we want to touch on that because a lot of people in previous videos that I did of Trade the Truth, which is a Houston, Texas legend, a Houston, Texas native. And we got my son and we got Trife Gangster. We got all of these people from New York we got Yandy Smith we got all of these people that's out there and that was being scrutinized in the beginning as far as what they was doing and you know them getting paid and you had a lot of people kept talking about you know BLM was you know what I mean a, a funded thing by George Soro and all of this you know what I mean but they never mentioned on how this same man that they're talking about you know could control whose currency is worth what at what time so he has way more power than just that that he's controlling so i don't want to get too much into the political standpoint of who this dude sorrow is you know what i mean you should know if you don't know then you're just silly but what i want to get into is a lot of things being said about the people that's out here on the front line and that's doing what they got to do just to make their point get heard now we all understand that we can't always you know fight the fight with fists and you know the violence partner thing like this but when you talk about the things that happened with the Breonna Taylor situation and you talk about them going to you know certain locations and you know actually protesting in peace and stuff like that you know somebody always ends up getting arrested and this is why a lot of people don't believe in protests because they feel like nobody's gonna bond them out and a lot of people just ain't on a large scale as far as you know the system will suck the money out of you when you want to go out and do things like this and that's just real talk and somebody got to say it but you know now that trade the truth and my son and yandy and you know everybody's been arrested and things like this due to this protest does that make it real to y'all is that real enough for y'all the fact that now they actually been arrested for it because a lot of people not gonna get out here and even get arrested for nobody as far as even if they in the right you know what i'm saying nine days so when i see people like this out here and they taking a stance and they standing for something you know i'm looking at the blm thing as the whole word like on what it's supposed to mean like i'm not looking at the organization you see what i'm saying i don't care nothing about an organization or none of that when i say blm i'm saying blm because it's real we know everybody else's matter too but you know what i mean everybody ain't acting like ours do so this is why i believe in the saying this is why i push that you see what i'm saying and that's real talk you know what i'm saying because if i push what i really want to push you know what i'm saying then everybody gonna say you're radical and this and that so we're not gonna do that bro we're gonna do this the right way we're gonna sit here they gotta respect another one as well as they gotta respect us you know what i'm saying and that's real talk and you see people getting arrested for this, and you see people that's out here, and they trying their best, man, but they going through scrutiny at the same time, you know what I mean? But when you got a big backing, like Trey the Truth, and you got a big backing, like these people that came together, then sometimes you need money to get your people out of situations like this, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, this system is built up to get money from the citizens, so that's how people get arrested for petty charges and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because it's off the strength of they want the money that's why you can buy yourself out of a case most of them you see what i'm saying but with this situation they went slam to them the head people and tried to you know figure and feeling like if they arrested them and got them out the way then everything would calm down but everybody stood firm and this is what i just want to bring everybody attention you know what i'm saying you know being the fact that now people got arrested and stuff like that you know I don't want that to let people feel like that now that makes them official. They been official, bro, because a lot of people, like I said in the previous videos on my son, Trife, Gangster, and you know what I mean? I said people not even trying to get out there and even do the bare minimum nine days. Every time you try to fight for something, you got the same people that look like you trying to fight you. And this is why I don't deal with nobody, because 
it's real. It's like you could be trying to do the right thing and trying to better yourself, and it's always somebody that's going to go against it, bro. And that's just, I don't know if it's instilled in, in us or whatever, bro. You know what I mean? But that, that you know, that Stockholm Syndrome is real, you know, and, and it's real, and it's a real disease inside our community as far as I see it. So this is why I don't like to really touch up on stuff like this. Burn now and then, you got to cut the bull jab, and you got to sit here, and you got to get to them how it is and how this world working. You can't sit back and suffer in silence, bro, and that's real talk. You got to speak up and say something, man, even if it's going, you know, get other people mad or get your friends mad or all of that man you got to stand for something or fall for anything bro if you ain't found something to die for then you ain't even a man or a woman anyway in my eyes that ain't just a, a quote and that's real talk you know what i'm saying that's that's for every man and every woman to do when you wake up every day find out what is it that you willing to lay down for it just can't be your kids and it just can't be your fam bro it got to be something more deeper with that being said man i'm out on the situation